Canned food is all we have here. 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 Canned food is all we have. Canned food is all we have. Canned food is all we have here. All the gameplay you see in this video is from Dead Island Riptide because it's basically the same game. So yeah, there you are. Welcome back to uh, a sarcastic Scotsman reviews another game. Today we're going to be looking at Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. Now, I was going to review these two separately, but seeing as they're pretty much identical, I don't really see the point. I'm pretty sure the Riptide is just a standalone expansion for Dead Island. So here we are. Welcome! God's sake. Aye, so after my last video of death threats and generally the internet being a poisonous shit heap. I thought I'd do what I always do and just be a sarcastic prick reviewing a game that's, uh, well, less than stellar, shall we say? Mm hmm. Dead Island, Dead Island, Riptide, anybody, if you've ever played it, it's a lot of fucking shit, it's really bad, I know what you're saying, it's not really, but I enjoy it some reason why! Actually, the reason that I enjoy this game is quite, quite simple zombies and violence. Perfect combination if you ask me. But then again, you probably didn't ask me, but I'm going to tell you what I think anyway, because that's just the kind of guy that I am. Okay? You're getting my opinion whether you wanted it or not. Me sitting here at 12 o'clock in the afternoon with a fucking vodka and iron brew. I'm only kidding, I don't really, but I just wanted to play up to the Scottish stereotype that we're all drunks. I wish. But alas, I cannot afford to be an alcoholic and a gamer. And, you know, just living. I don't know how folk afford it in this fucking life. Anyway, on with the show, here we go, once again, back into the breach of Jobby, Dead Island and Dead Island Riptide. What can I say about these beasts? They came out a while ago, 360 PS3 PC, I remember when the PC version first came out, they fucking released an ang version of it on Steam. They released like a debug version and it was, it was quite hilarious really, it was quite funny, you can look that up for yourself because I kind of really a bit bothered. Anyway, it's not important, we're here to talk about what I think about these games now. They're open world zombie games, okay? Set in a fictional land of Banoi, which is, I don't know, Australian or New Zealand or something around that fucking southern hemisphere of the planet. I remember first hearing about Dead Island years and years before it was released, obviously. That's kind of what happens with these things to build hype. And it was uh, lauded as a Far Cry with zombies, which is not too far from the truth. I think it's also an awful lot like Borderlands and the way it behaves with its gameplay mechanics. Like you die, you don't really die, you lose a wee bit of money then you respawn. It's four player co-op, kinda like you daft zany weapons, there's not as many as Borderlands but that's rather here nor there at this point in time. You can make fucking mallets that have got batteries attached to them that electrocute people, you can make knives that are on fire and you can have guns that shoot jobbies, I mean they don't really but they might as well for the fucking use they are. So I'll be interweaving my likes and dislikes with this game, or with these games I should say, throughout this video, I'm not going to have it all. Here are my list of likes, 1 to 5, here are my list of dislikes, 1 to 2500. So I'll talk shit, we'll interweave. And we'll have a laugh, we'll just relax And if I'm talking to myself in the mirror in the morning You fat ugly bastard, sorry You bit of pathos Pathos Is that even right? Let me know in the comments below Pathos, you cunt Look, I'm trying to be as jovial as I can, okay? Life's depressing enough Alright, I'll concede and say I am full of self-loathing and self-hatred Okay, right Here's some, here's some Here's some things about this game It's really violent, right? I love violence, I love violence, but I think this sometimes can go a wee bit too far, and well, fuck am I kidding? Go too far, doesn't it go far enough? I know some games where you can literally shoot people to bits and see their fucking guts fly out the body. Oh, the days. But in this game you can chop folk up and you can fucking behead them and smack their head in and actually crunch their head like an egg. So, <laughs> fuck you, yes! <laughs> it's an open world game. Did I tell you it was an open world zombie game? Need Need their light cycle though, so that's a bit, that's a bit pish. And, um, four player co-op. Don't really care because I don't play with anybody else, I play with myself. Take that how you will. Just if you do play this game in single player, don't forget to go to the options and mark it as uh, single player only. You don't want dickheads invading your fucking game. It's mostly melee based combat. You do get guns, but they're pish. They're really pish. The only game I know you can shoot a zombie in the head 50 times with a shotgun and it's like, Hey, what's the matter? You're like, I know you've not got a brain, but fuck's sake, eh? Die within like two hits. In fact, see if I'm standing point blank to you with a shotgun against your nose and I pull the trigger, you die. 
See, this is this RPG. Can I shake this? Fucking creep, man. Everyone's got to be bullet spongy. Everyone's got to take a half out to kill it. And do you know what? It gets boring. Fast. So you got all your different enemy types. You've got your slow zombies. You've got your running zombies. You've got your giant zombies. You've got your exploding zombies. You've got your muscle zombies. It's like... Really, these special infected are pish, it's like left for dead, in fact, that's exactly what the fuck it's like. You got a big muscle zombie, big tank like fucker, and he's in a straight jacket for some reason. Uh, you get the thug zombies who are your, like, sort of mini boss zombies, they're just a pain in the ass. You can cut their arms off and they'll still stick the nut in you, it's really annoying, but it's kind of funny when you think of it like that. But this is what I, I don't like special infected generally, I think that's a, it's a tired cliche of zombie games, and it needs to just get to fuck. I will say though that the zombie designs are pretty smashing though, they look fucking disgusting some of them. They're like, oh, you've really been fucked up in life, ain't you? I think you were a junkie before you died, you smelly bastard. But aye, the designs are cool and they look cool and, like I say, the dismemberment's cool, you can cut bits off them and it's like, rawr, rawr, and they'll still come for you like, yeah, fucking, you can break bones though and I don't know why you get bonuses for that because it doesn't really seem to make any fucking difference. Break a zombie's leg, what's it gonna do? Arr and it comes back after you, oh, it's sort like of a fucking dug, oh. and here we are, that's going to lend us right into the combat of the game, the combat can be weighty, it's fucking, like I say, it's mainly melee, but there's a stamina bar, and I swear to Christ, these guys are the most unfit people on the fucking planet, and they don't look it either, the one's like a performer, who gets up on stage and sings dodgy rap songs, but then he comes to swinging a club, or a bit of wood, and it's like, swing, swing, oh, hold on a minute, I'm, I'm fucking knackered, I think you sit down and then you get fucking breathed on and you fall over and it's fucking annoying. It might come across that I don't actually like these games but I do, I'm just, I'm really just not sure why I like them, be quite and honest. Be quite and honest. Be quite and honest. I'll keep in the mistakes that I think are funny, okay? So yes, the combat can be weighty and satisfying but it's also immensely imprecise. Don't know how many times I've run up to a zombie swung thinking I'm going to scalp this cunt right in the jaw only for it to completely miss and then they'll run at you and then you'll swing again and they'll somehow completely run past the arc of the swing and it's just I really fucking hate it with like the passion of the fires of hell because it's so annoying weapon durability I know it's like fuck weapon durability I've got a fucking club that's made of titanium steel alloy fucking backed up by fucking duct tape with fucking blades duct tape and then give it two swings of it and it snaps. Moan to fuck. Get weapon durability out. Have less weapons in there. Let me pick a weapon that I like because what inevitably that's what I do anyway. When a weapon becomes too weak or too fucked up for me to fix it, I'll go and find something exactly the same as it. So stop all this pish. Moving on into the arenas of death with this game and I have to say that a lot of it is very samey looking, it's just blah jungle, blah city, blah towns, it's just nothing really all that interesting to look at. I know it's set in the real world and you've, you've only got so much, but I feel that there's other games out there that do this a lot lot better, like Last of Us 2. They make it just look so fucking interesting even though it's just a street doing a city. Dead Island is just jungle, 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 jungle most of the time, in fact, it's jungle, island, beach, wee toon, maybe a wee bit of a city, and then it's back to the same old flavourless pish of a jungle again. Then in Riptide, you've got jungle, 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 beach, jungle, 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 beach, 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 city, town, swamp. Yeah, fuck off. I tend to find the difficulty spikes are just ridiculous and all. Sometimes I'll have no bother dispatching 20 zombies, then you come across two or three and they just fucking leather you. It's like, what the fuck? It's like Dragon Age when it's difficulty. Hated that difficulty spike as well. Fuck me, man. And the enemies will spawn directly behind you. You'll be walking down a wee country road and there's been fuck all and all of a sudden you'll get a belt in the back of your nut and it's like, what the fuck was that? Sometimes it'll kill you and you don't have a clue what the fuck it was because it's some dickhead spawning two feet fucking from you right behind you but I don't have eyes and then we've got Not driving the, oh Jesus like, driving the boats is a fucking exercise in pure frustration especially when the zombies fucking climb up onto the boat and then dart forward and you've got like a nanosecond to push a button I'm like what button is that I push too late you're already out the boat and then you've got driving and I swear to Christ I've ran over these guys a million times completely fucking missed them fly into a bastard wall and then have to reverse and try it again where I 
more often than not, miss again because the detection, the hit detection is just so Life. fucked. And that this is for Techland, this is for the people that made Dying Light. I love Dying Light. Dying Light does have some of these issues as well, especially with spawning shit. zombies the and being rushed to death within seconds. So how do I learn not to let this happen? You really can't. You just have to fucking grin and bear it and die. Luckily there's really no much penalty for death. You'll lose some money but you'll make it back very quickly. Pick up a few weapons, go sell them. Rob a few corpses. Everton respawns anyway so you can even fucking just make rounds of the same area. Quite tedious. Quite, quite tedious. I don't even... Do I like these games? No, no really. Do I enjoy playing them? Sort of. It's more of an act of perseverance for me, I think, just to get fucking through them and finish them. But you can then play them another three times. There's four characters or five characters per game, depending on which version, and I'm looking at the PS4 version of the game with the extra characters that you get some fucking rider cunt, I don't know what his name is. It's an arsehole anyway, okay? Like John Wayne. I don't really want to play this again after I finished it, knowing the trials that you need to go through and the fucking sheer nail scrunching fucking wall scalping frustration. Not really, but I do it anyway. Because I'm a prick. And not just a prick, but an old prick. Which is even funnier. Why is it funnier, I hear you ask? I don't fucking know. I just said that. I just said that at the time. Shut up, move on. So if you really loved these games while they were on the Xbox 360 and PS3, grab the PS4 and Xbox One versions if you want. You'll get them cheap. Just know this, that if you buy it on PS4, you only get Dead Island Definitive Edition on the disc. You need to download Riptide, which instantly devalues the whole fucking package. So you might want to pick this one up digitally for both of them. Right, this has been Craig's. Adios. Jesus, look at him!